Greetings, my lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another Emmy Eats. Today, I'll be eating Finland. This will be the sixth time I've eaten Finland. If you've missed my five previous episodes, I shall put the links, like always, down below. So this package comes to me from Mr. S. Mr. S, thank you so much for sending me this lovely package in the cutest box. Let me show you. It's Moomin! How adorable is that? I love this packaging. U.S. Postal Service, do take note. Look how charming this is. Love this. And if you like these kinds of international tasting videos, be sure to subscribe for more Eaton. All right, let's get started. Look how adorable this packaging is. I can't stand it. I think it's a little fox. Pihalia, and this is made by the Fatsu Company, and they look like little fox candies. How adorable. It tells you to open like this. Okay, good. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I'm in love with this graphic design. It is so charming. I have a friend that calls me Fox, <laughs> and this is so sweet. I love it. It's kind of a fruity, peachy smell to them. Oh, look how cute. Oh my gosh, look at that candy. So charming. It's a little like bonbon. It's nice and sparkly with sugar, and it's layered. Oh, how do you say um, bon appetit in Finnish? Hyvää ruoka halua. Hyvää ruoka for halua. Ooh, that's a really tough one. Sorry for my terrible finish, but I mean, bon appetit. <laughs> wow! What a delightful texture. I was expecting something like a gumdrop, but it's much softer and actually crunchy from all the sugar on the outside. So it's very crunchy and crystalline on the outside. And inside, it's just like a jelly, kind of soft and very, very giving and very sweet because it's coated in sugar. But the flavor is really nice too, nice and peachy and a little bit citrusy. Nice. Mm -hmm. This looks lovely. And this is also made by the Fatsu Company and this is pure dark cocoa. I can read all of it, but it's mint, yes. Oh, look at this beautiful wrapping. Ah, oh, I love it. And the bar is intact and I can already smell the glorious mint. Oh, how beautiful is that bar? Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. Nice and dark chocolatey. Mm. It reminds me of a chocolate mint bar that I had from New Zealand that, again, had a really nice balance of peppermint and dark chocolate. So you can really enjoy the slight bitterness of the chocolate, the minty, minty peppermint, and just pure joy. Mm. Because we're in Finland, we have to have some of this. <laughs> and this looks like it is licorice. Tate Laku and it's very charming packaging. I love it. And these look like they're different kinds of filled licorice. So if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you know that I'm not a huge fan of licorice, but I don't detest it as much as I used to. So let's give this a taste. <laughs> let's see if I can get all the different flavors. So one looks gray. I love that there's gray in candy. It's really an underutilized color. There's the brown one. Here's the black one. And here's the white one. I love the contrast of the black and white. Just beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. Actually, it's not too bad. Very sweet. The center is minty. And the outside is licorice, but very mild tasting black licorice. Not too bad at all. Very, very palatable. Not something that I would like or enjoy necessarily, but really not bad. Nothing like salmiaki, which I cannot stand. I still try it, but <laughs> I really don't like salmiaki. And maybe it's because of mint. It has a kind of cooling sensation on your tongue. Let's try the completely black one. That looks beautiful. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that one's not filled at all. It's just a cylinder of black licorice. It's sweet and it does have a black licorice anise flavor to it, but it's not overpowering by any means. Not my favorite, but it does have a really nice texture, kind of soft and sticky. And yeah, not too strong for licorice, but yeah, not my favorite. All right, let's try the one that has the brown center. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That one is similar to the first one they had. It has licorice on the outside. The inside is filled with a almost frosting-like center that has some chocolate flavor in it. And the outside is a licorice layer. Not bad. All right, let's try the last one, which is gray. I love that color. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm, 
I think this one's a little bit like salmiaki, sweet and salty with a licorice outside. I think that one's my least favorite. I do like the texture of it. For those of you that don't like black licorice like me, I was just trying these anyways because they're really not too bad. If you like black licorice, you probably really enjoy these. <laughs> Look at this beautiful bar. This is a giant Karl Fatzer bar and it has salty popcorn in it, yes. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks gorgeous. Look at that. <laughs> Smells slightly buttery and milk chocolatey. Wow. Before you even start chewing, you can already smell and kind of taste the popcorn flavors in there. Nutty and buttery, more like movie popcorn and that kind of fake buttery flavor. A little bit caramelly. The popcorn flavor is really strong almost overpowering so it's interesting mm -hmm. and the texture is also interesting as well and you have the melty milk chocolate and then you've got these kind of crunchy popcorn bits in there interesting not sure if i like it but interesting combination iso store patkis so i've had patkis before and i loved it then it was a mint chocolate bar but i think this one's a little bit different because it's iso store and I don't know what that means. Maybe it's half vanilla, half, I have no idea. Let's see, it smells minty, which is good enough in my book. All right, let's give it a taste, here we go. Mmm, <laughs> it's milk chocolate and mint. <laughs> Much sweeter than the Fatsa butter that I had earlier and more milky and the texture is completely different. This is almost more like brownie-like in the middle. A little bit chewy, a little bit crumbly, but rich. In terms of level of sweetness, this is much more typical. I would say something more akin to like an Andes mint. Lovely. Let's try a gym, as we would call it in the US. I believe in Finnish, it's called more like yim. I love the color combination of this graphic design. Again, made by the Fatsu Company. This is a great size candy bar. Look at that, lovely, simple. And let's see what's inside. Ooh, looks like a fondant filling, similar to a York peppermint patty, kind of a thin, dark chocolate outside. Ooh, this mint as well. Let's taste it. Mmm, <laughs> mm-mm, mmm. No, not mint at all. The center is kind of whipped and fluffy, a bit like marshmallow, and has a slight kind of tropical fruit flavor to it, but mostly it's kind of a banana essence. Not really my favorite because I really don't care for banana. But if you do, I think you'll really like this. The capo. I love the graphic design of that one as well. I do believe I've had this one. I think it was in my Emmy Eats Finland part three, but it's been a long time, so I don't really remember what is inside. And this looks very similar to the yim. Slightly lighter in color. Let's see. Oh, but different interior. Ooh, this smells more boozy and coffee-like. All right, let's give that a taste. Mm-hmm, it definitely tastes boozy. A bit like rum and some of the candies that I had in Romania and in Russia. Slightly sticky, crumbly texture in the middle and quite sweet with a chocolate coating on the outside. Not bad. Let's try this little Karl Fatsud bar. And this is chili and crisp. That sounds amazing. So there are six little kind of cubes that are embossed with fatzer and little crisp bits in there. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So there are little spheres of like rice crisp in there that give it a really nice crispy texture, really great smooth milk chocolate that's got a buttery flavor to it. And then you get some heat. It takes a little while for the heat to kind of kick in. I would say about midway, once the chocolate starts to melt, you really get a nice concentration of heat. And the heat kind of lingers. The chocolate is now gone from my mouth, but the heat is still there, but somehow very addictive. Mmm, great. Thanks again, Mr. S, for sending me this beautiful package of finished treats. I have to admit, I think I am slowly warming up to licorice, slowly. Let me know in the comments below what your opinions are of black licorice and salmiaki in particular. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you adore it? You can't get enough of it? Let me know. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe, and I shall see you in my next video. Jaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs> so this rack contains seven Tabasco flavors. I didn't even know they made this many, and I'm going to be doing a little blind taste testing to see if I can figure out what flavor is which.